You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. Oh, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's WWE Main Event After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's WWE Main Event After Show. Oh yeah, we are showing off tonight here at AfterBuzz TV. I am Tom, the Com Connolly, and welcome to Main Event. There's nobody sitting next to me, but there's somebody sitting across from me, and that's Scott Narver. How you doing, Scott? I am good. There is no makeup on the panel tonight. <laughs> oh, I have a little bit on. Oh, yeah. well, my mistake. <laughs> had to cover there some is... things up on my head. Cover a black eye from last week. This yeah. panel is completely <laughs> unshaven. I'll stick with that one. Oh no. Abrupt ending. <laughs> that line deserved a quick break. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. If there Steven. could have been a record scratch, that would have made it perfect. <laughs> so, main event from Boston, Massachusetts, Massachusetts tonight. Uh, Tom Phillips, Byron Saxton. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of getting better. <laughs> <laughs> that was even better. <laughs> that was. That was even better. That was well placed. <laughs> I don't know. I I think they're getting better on commentary. Do you think they are? Or? I think they liven up a bit tonight because mm. they were brutally attacked. <laughs> yes, they were by, by a Biggie. man covered in chalk. <laughs> As he came out to watch the first match, mm -hmm. he just went over and just started kind of punching on them and just then attacking people in the crowd by giving them high fives. Not yeah. really attacking them, but that chalk is no good anymore. Like he's mm. used it all up for any grip that he was going to use on his <laughs> opponent. Like no, it's it's wasted on audience members and. Uh, yeah. And uh, Byron Saxton. Yeah. So I thought that was I thought that was cool. It was funny of the I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, it's he's playing up a different moment. Mm -hmm. Like it was fun and unexpected. Yeah. Uh, and we are eleven days away from WrestleMania thirty. Really? Yes. Eleven, huh? I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's gonna be coming really close. We're going. We are. Mm -hmm. I am pumped. <laughs> I am pumped to go. I really am. I am excited. Uh, so let's get to the first match. It was Big E versus Christian. Nope. Nope. Record scratch. <laughs> it was not. Uh, apparently, Christian suffered a slight concussion on Monday Night Raw in the Fatal 4-Way match. I blame Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, you know. He's just going to pass it along? Yeah, or... he's just passing off his concussion <laughs> disease onto Christian. Not fair. So, I know. You're a big fan of Christian, so. Huge fan. And yeah. I was so excited for this match. And this was going to be great. Nope. Didn't turn out. Yeah. Did you get, did you see it on WWE.com first or did you, when you started to? No, I, st I started watching uh, Main Event a little bit before uh, on the network just because oh, okay. I hadn't checked it out yet mm -hmm. on the network. So I was watching that and mm -hmm. I heard the news and I went, well, forget it. I'm going to just watch it what we do after Buzz. <laughs> Bummed out. <laughs> you were hoping for Christian to win the Intercontinental title that night. Yeah. But, I mean, hopefully, I mean, he's had, I feel like he had a concussion not that long ago. So, um, you know, when, like, they had the shield take him out, mm -hmm. apparently, when Edge was there. So, I, I don't know, he's getting, he's getting up there. Not that he's really old. I mean, not when you have, like, Hogan and all these other people around. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he's been around for, you know, he's been wrestling for basically almost all his life. So, yeah. Hopefully he'll he... heal up in time to win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Is he in it, though? Yeah, he is. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, okay. he sure is. Okay, good. All right, then maybe that that's when he will make his return. That's what we'll be the hauling trophy. for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and carry it around with him. Because he would be someone good to carry that trophy around. Yeah, really And obnoxious. rub it in everyone's face. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> that would be really good. And I Talking about how much of a giant he is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did see uh, it was on, it was like uh, the Raw Fallout. Before before he got the concussion, I guess, uh -huh. and it was Byron Saxton interviewing him backstage, and just to show how much of a professional Christian is, he's going through his he's like talking to Byron Saxton, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be a Hall of Fame instead of Hall of Famer," <laughs> and he like stopped and stuff, and he was like, "What's with that look on your face? You trying to mess me up?" Like he just blamed it all on Byron Saxton. <laughs> 
I love Christian yeah, it was so just much. such a good save for himself because he's like you could tell he he, he didn't break or you know stop himself. Mm -hmm. He just he just kept rolling and was like, "What are you trying to mess me up as I'm talking to you? I'm trying to talk about being a future <laughs> Hall of Famer here." <laughs> it was just really good. And then yeah, I was disappointed that you know that match didn't happen. But we got Sheamus versus Del Rio versus Ziggler, Triple Threat. Mm -hmm. Winner of this match gets a number one title. A number one. Uh, can tell you, uh, I can't even talk now. Well, see, number one contenders is, match. What happened yes. is it's all the guys that didn't beat Christian get on Raw, Raw get a second <laughs> chance. Not your Zack Ryder's, not your Kurt Hawkins, no. not your Yoshitatsu's, not any of those guys. <laughs> all the same guys. The three losers. Yeah. Get a second shot. But that, I mean, that match on Raw was really good. The Fatal Horror. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good match. Uh, although I think uh, this leads more. Uh, for Christian, that he can always then complain that he's number one contender. <laughs> yeah, another he match. Beat. Yeah, <laughs> he wants he one more match. Now for the Intercontinental title. <laughs> it plays him perfectly, though. It does, it does. Uh, but this match was, you know, a really good match all over the place. Uh, Sheamus and Ziggler start ganging up with Del Rio. Ziggler gets tossed to the outside. Uh, Sheamus hit a rolling uh, senton onto Del Rio. Uh, Sheamus went for his... They're calling it, what he's calling it the ten peas in a Padraig? I don't I don't know he, where that's coming it from. So fast and, uh, yeah, ten ten uh, punches in a in a penny bag. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I'll ask the forum and see if they know. Okay. Yeah. Let let me know if they know. So he goes for that on Ziggler. Uh, Del Rio comes up from behind, hits the Insiguri. Uh, Ziggler hit an awesome drop kick as Del Rio was coming off the top rope. Uh, Sheamus sets up for a bro kick. Uh, Ziggler hits him with a drop kick first. Uh, Sheamus then pulls himself from sitting down on the on the mat. He reaches up and is able to pull himself, like flipping himself backwards, onto the top rope. Yeah, it's so crazy. Yeah, I like, mean, there's there's skinning the cat, which a lot of guys do when they go over the top rope mm -hmm. and then to the outside. A very famous move by Ricky Steamboat. Yeah, and then they pull themselves up and mm -hmm. over. But he's laying on the on the canvas. Yeah, and Just, doing it, and he's he's huge. Yeah, <laughs> he's over. What is he like? Two twenty, two forty. Oh, I think like he's that. more than. Yeah, I would think I would think he's like two sixty, two eighty. Some I don't know, that's, but he's a big guy. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, so as he pulls himself up to the top rope, uh, Ziggler tries to attack him. He knocks Ziggler off. Uh, then Del Rio grabs Ziggler, hits him with a German suplex for two. That was a nice just combination of moves. Uh, Ziggler then hits a, that the huge DDT on Sheamus, which every time he goes for that D DDT, it looks awesome. Ziggler, mm -hmm. he just knows how to like how to just jump up as high as he can, get his legs up, yeah, and really hold high. on to them, and just like you know slam them down. Uh, Sheamus then goes for a white noise. It's reversed by Ziggler. Then he puts Ziggler in a Texas cloverleaf. Then Del Rio comes in, hits a super kick on Sheamus. Mm -hmm. uh, then Ziggler, concussion. Yeah, yeah. Then Ziggler Sheamus is concussed. That's it. <laughs> it's a famouser out of nowhere for two. Uh, then Ziggler goes for a zigzag on Del Rio. Del Rio holds onto the ropes. As uh, Ziggler turns around, he runs right into a bro kick from Sheamus, and Ziggler falls out of the ring. And then Sheamus crawls on his knees to the ropes and it's like, oh my gosh, I knocked him out of the ring. What should I do? Yeah, there's so much <laughs> torment going on with him. Like, what have I done? Yeah. I've hurt a man. I've hurt him too much and too far. I've hurt a guy that's like le weighs less than me and that I can probably pick up and just toss into the ring, but I don't want to go out of the ring and get him. Yeah, as you pointed out. <laughs> yeah, like, so. Just go get him. Yeah, just get him and throw him back in the ring and try to pin him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's... It was one of those, like, it'd be different if it was, you know, Sheamus knocking Mark Henry out of the ring. Then you're like, oh, crap, he's real, a lot heavier than me. And, and that's going to be a pain to get him in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work for Ziggler. Uh, Ziggler. And you have ADR in the ring. Go kick yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, go after him and try to win. You already knocked him out. Yeah. Uh, Sheamus then hit the white noise on Del Rio for two. Uh, then Del Rio was able to get Sheamus in the, in the cross arm breaker. Uh, then Del Rio goes for the backstabber. He hits the backstabber, but as he's coming down, Ziggler jumps up and hits the zigzag on Del Rio, mm -hmm. and Ziggler gets the win. So he gets the shot at Big E for the Intercontinental title later tonight on main event. Uh, what do you think overall? 
I thought it was great. The, there's a lot of great chemistry amongst these guys, especially mm -hmm. the four way on Raw was amazing. Yeah. And then this triple threat, um, as last minute as it might have been, like they still pulled off a really great story and mm -hmm. did a really great match. Uh, what I'm being told, possibly by the, the forum here, is mm -hmm. that the name possibly is uh, Joseph Boza says 10 Arms of Devastation, which I don't think that's, that's not right. what they I mean, it, I like that better than 10 peas in a pod. Drake or whatever. <laughs> that's like that's Vishnu or something. That's not he doesn't have ten arms. <laughs> I don't know. I mean if he attached eight more arms and then started <laughs> hitting time. him with a bunch of them, maybe. Like Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, if he's like Goro or something. Yeah. Um but yeah, it was a it was a really great match. And this this was a really cool main event and how they've been treating it on the network mm -hmm. as of late, and I, I really hope they keep going this route is Yeah, me too. They set up the main event for the night. Mm -hmm. They didn't start with the main event, which Chances are, if Christian had been okay, that would have been the first match right out of the gate. But we had a number one contendership for the title match on the same show, mm -hmm. which yeah, is something like that, that you wanted forever. And then we had something yeah. that just meant that much more. Mm -hmm. So this show is really escalating in, in its meaning and uh, becoming a much must-watch show. Yeah, I think so. Especially, yeah, with it being on the network, it just helps them. They want people to watch. You got to put matches on people who are gonna wa want to watch, mm -hmm. and they have been since it's been you know since they've made the switch. And it's I like that it's the you know the lesser titles being defended because I feel like everyone does complain that they don't defend the titles enough. Well, now you have a show where you can definitely do it, and it's you know it's live on the network. I mean, if you watch on Ion, it's the next night, but it's at least live so if a title change does happen it's more it's even better cuz then you're like oh wow i really have to watch main event cuz now mm -hmm. they're having title changes on main event you know yeah you can't you can't miss it yeah uh what was your rating for the match oh i gave it a, a 35 uh, handshakes gotcha <laughs> oh cuz then after the match Renee young gets in the ring and and a lovely flower dress yeah, i'll speak yeah. on behalf of gabby <laughs> and marquia who's not with us tonight yeah. um <laughs> I, I assume that they're still watching the WWE Scooby-Doo movie. Yeah, I think so. I think they're watching it on a loop, mm. and they didn't invite us because no. we're going to WrestleMania, so they're bitter <laughs> and upset. They wanted to experience it through the Scooby-Doo movie. <laughs> so that's yeah, why they, they went to... <laughs> get a full rundown on the, on the, on the, via the film. Um, so, uh, yeah, Renee Young's got a very lovely uh, flower dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go Renee. We like Renee here. Mm -hmm. uh, she interviews Ziggler, and Ziggler says, "I'm going to WrestleMania. I'm going to WrestleMania." And then I was like, kind of like, "Wait, is this Intercontinental Title match at WrestleMania?" And he's like, "No, I'm going to win the Andre Giant, Andre the Giant Trophy at WrestleMania, but I'm going to do it as the Intercontinental Champion." Uh, and you know, he says he taught Big E everything he knows, which you know they used to be tag team partners for a while mm -hmm. with AJ. Uh, and then Big E said, you know, he was there when Dolph cashed in last year uh, last year after WrestleMania and that he wishes him good luck in the match tonight. And then they shook hands. Dolph said uh, to Big E that he, that Big E knows him better than anybody, mm -hmm. which, again, another reason right there why AJ should never go back with Dolph Ziggler because anybody, he's <laughs> terrible in relationships. He's not a great communicator. If Big E knows him better, he's hiding stuff, ladies. Don't trust him because if he can't open himself up, I can open myself up. Like, that's what I do. I'm a good communicator. That's what I do. You hear that, AJ? Mm -hmm. I'm a great communicator. <laughs> great at it. Uh, yeah, so it, I like the little interview after the match. I, I like that they've been doing that because it kind of is like a throwback to like me and Gene mm -hmm. going in the ring and getting a reaction right after. And then you don't have to get that backstage segment. I mean, you get it right away in the ring. And it's more it's more just like natural, I think. Yeah, it's raising the stakes. It's, mm -hmm. it's They are getting the, the interview um, about like what's coming up next for them. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to... I mean, I, I understand they're doing everything with the app and all that, but mm -hmm. let's be honest, not everybody watches every single bit that they do. So yeah. mm -hmm. if it's an exclusive backstage thing that mm -hmm. you're talking about with Christian, or sometimes switch it up, put it in the ring. Yeah. And I, I mean, on the West Coast, like, we can't get the app for Raw. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of is like, oh, well, unless you watch it when it's on West Coast time, then you can get the app. But if you watch the East Coast feed, then you can't watch the app, which kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. They need to fix that. And the forum is saying right now Ziggler should go back to AJ, and I will shut this. I'll shut down this chat roll right now. It'll happen. 
<laughs> so that I, 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 I gave it a 4.0. I thought it was a I thought it was a good an awesome match. Good match for main event. Uh, I'm you know I'm excited that they're having really good matches on main event now mm-hmm. and matches that actually mean something storyline wise and just overall affecting all the you know everyone that's in the matches too. Mm-hmm. Then we get a raw recap of uh, Stephanie with Orton and Batista. Batista says Stephanie gets drooled on a lot. Stephanie slapped the crap out of him and knocked his glasses off. Mm-hmm. I was like, that, oh, that just, you know, the slap didn't seem like it hurt that much, but it was more the glasses probably like hitting your face mm-hmm. as they get flung off you. Um, he took it better than Daniel Bryan, which could be a sign of what's to come at WrestleMania. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, he, uh, so he, and then or, they showed Orton just laughing at him, you know. Mm-hmm. Building it up, and then Orton wanted Triple H to, if he win, if he beats Daniel Bryan, to not be in the Triple Threat main event. Right. But they really didn't capital. They didn't say anything after that. After he talked to her about it, she was just like, "Well, no, he can do what he wants." But... Right. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea that Orton had. It's like it's the foundation of a good idea, uh-huh. but it's like, why? Yeah. Well, I'll hurt him. <laughs> okay. Well, he's wrestled before, mm. and he threw you out of your own house one time through a window so it's like i don't think he's really worried about that but i think yeah it didn't i thought they were when i was watching it i thought they were going to add the stipulation like if triple h wins he has to decide either Mm -hmm. he becomes a wrestler again or he stays coo Mm -hmm. and doesn't get the title shot i thought that's where they're going with it or he does voiceover work permanently for (laughs) scooby-doo movies yes so we have to see how the first one is Mm -hmm. which i'm sure will be good and then it'll you know Capitalize on that. So you know what happened, by the way. Yes. When Batista speared Orton. Mm. Oh, his his pants. His pants split. (laughs) And they weren't even his skinny jeans. That's how. That's how strong that man is. That's how powerful that. That amongst a spear, (laughs) pants just burst. I did that say, shows like, why the Incredible Hulk is totally fake. Yeah. That those pants always stay on. Like, there's your Incredible Hulk. Pants don't stay on, folks. (laughs) But I did. It was funny, and I mean. They covered it up because he didn't. You didn't see it till he was like getting out of the ring yeah. to leave. <laughs> Poor Batista. He comes back. He gets booed. He rips his pants. <laughs> oh man, could be worse. So let's get into the second match of the night. Ten Diva Tag Team Match. It was Natalia, the Funkadactyls, Eva Marie, and Emma versus Summer Rae, who has who had some theme music. Yeah, I don't know if it's her, if it's her theme from NXT or not. I would think it would be. I don't know why they would change it just, you know, for her being a, you know, main event of Raw. It doesn't True, that would be a lot of work. Yeah. But she had her own Titan Tron video. She you did. Know, mm-hmm. They're even called that anymore. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I, I think so. I would call them that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still call it the Titan Tron. That's how old of a fan I am. Like, you know the Titan Tron video? Most fans would be like, the Titan Tron? What is that? Most people out there know. See if in the chat roll if they know what the time is. All right, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so it was Summer Rae, Tamina, Oksana, Alicia Fox, and Layla. Um, AJ was on commentary, and she said the Vicky Guerrero Invitational Divas match at WrestleMania. I'm not sure it's such a long title for a match. <laughs> uh, should be called AJ Lee versus the World, which I did like that. I thought it was good. Uh, Layla and Emma had kind of like a dance-off at the beginning. Uh, Eva Marie got in the ring. Uh, she's improving week to week. Yeah. She at first, I feel like every time she gets in the ring, I don't know if she's just like nervous. Like she's always kind of awkward for the first maybe like thirty to forty five seconds of just. It seems like she kind of wants to go for like the headlock, but she doesn't want to go for it, and she kind of wants to like lock it in, but doesn't. It's a shame. A precedent has been set. Mm-hmm. Because no matter how she's going to start, too, we already have our apprehensions when watching her because of what's been laid out at this point. Yeah. We're like, oh, boy, mm-hmm. what's going to happen? <laughs> and well, I'm sure we're not the only ones. There are probably some people backstage that are going, oh, dear, what's going to go down? Yeah. Uh, but, but it's, yeah, there's no big major mistakes. There's no, no big, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's going all right. Yeah. But, and, I mean, she was she was okay as she, as she was, you know, or more in the match. Um, AJ on commentary said she's going to walk in the champ at WrestleMania and walk out as champ. We'll see what happens. We'll talk about that match after this. Uh, Alicia Fox hit a Northern Lights suplex. Um, 
AJ said that her mom was in the match too, <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> and she was like freaking out a commentary saying, I, well, what kind of match is this at WrestleMania? Is it like a 15 count match, 15 fall match? Is it, you know, a gauntlet match? Like, what is this? Like, and she keeps saying, like, Vicky Guerrero won't tell her what kind of match it is. This WrestleMania is very unfair to the champions. Yeah, uh huh. It really we is. Got, we got the WWE World Heavyweight Champion mm -hmm. uh, now in a triple threat, yep. regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have the Tag Team Championship, which has been announced that that's a four-way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's four teams for that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've got the Divas Championship. That it, it's the uh... AJ versus like 30 people. Yeah. <laughs> this is totally unfair. Yeah, it is. They are stacking the odds against the champions this year. Uh, Naomi gets tagged in, hits a hurricane on Tamina. Uh, then all the girls get in the ring. The ring finally gets cleared, uh, but it's to Eva or Eva and Emma left in the ring. Tamina hits a double clothesline on both of them, gets them out of the ring. She hits an awesome-looking super kick on Naomi mm -hmm. for the win. So the ref goes to raise her hand. She kind of like gets him away from her. She's like, "No, I'll just you know raise my hand myself." Yeah, and then I don't need she, a man to raise my hand. Yeah, yeah, and then as she's standing there. Uh, AJ gets in the ring and grabs her hand and he's holding it up, and to me it just kind of looks at her kind of confused like, oh, now we're now we're best friends because you just saw me you know kick these girls' asses and now you're scared because now when I fight you at WrestleMania, what are you gonna do? Uh, and then they then AJ like hugged her <laughs> mm -hmm. and she still was, and then AJ got out of the ring. To me just kind of looked at her like, okay, I guess you know. Didn't she know she's crazy already? I know you don't like that word. You know, but... <laughs> that's not a good word because they're supposed to be friends. That, well, yeah, but you they... shouldn't be judging your friends who are those. She was supportive. She's out there for a match. <laughs> she's there to celebrate with her. Gave her a victory hug. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's a good friend right there. And even Gabby would be on board with that because she didn't interfere. She didn't. She, she didn't, didn't interfere. interfere. She's being a great friend. <laughs> but. I don't know, like, how good of a friend is she going to be if it comes down to those two at, at WrestleMania? Tamina should be a great friend and allow <laughs> AJ to retain her championship. I guess we'll see. But, yeah, I don't... They haven't said what kind of match Have it is. Have I ever won the predictions title off you, Tom? No. Well, actually, the predictions title is missing. Is it? It is. <laughs> I think it's been stolen. So, anybody really? out there... We have uh we need to get Scooby Doo in the game here to solve this mystery. Well, if Gabby and Marquia would just stop watching that movie, they could actually solve the crime. Solve the crime of the missing after Buzz World Heavyweight Championship belt. Whoever the weird character that we met early on, you know, some old man, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's him. It's him. That's who it is. Uh, but what would you give a rating for the? Oh, this I match? gave this uh, uh, eighty-six uh, Tamina Smirkas. Gotcha. Tamina <laughs> Smirkas. I uh, yeah, I gave it a 3.0. I thought it was, I don't. But half the girls didn't even make it in the ring, to fight. Like well, why not just have it? to the pre-show of WrestleMania. Why not just have happen? like a, uh, I don't know, like a six-man tag. Why does it have to be a ten-man tag? Yeah. You, like I get diva, diva, diva. Yeah, but I get having them all out there. But what is the point of having them go out if they don't even get tagged in the match for? Yeah, if you can't showcase everybody. Yeah, I think it was Natalia. Uh, Eve Marie and Naomi were the only ones that got in that match. The first match. Yeah. I think or, you're right. For that team, I mean. The other two just stood there. Summer Rae got music. <laughs> she did. That was yeah. exciting. <laughs> well, good for Summer Rae. And then we get a recap of uh, John Cena in the bathroom. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. The camera crew from Raw uh -huh. was filming John Cena in the bathroom, but then the footage... <laughs> <laughs> The footage that they then decide to air is when he's washing his hands. <laughs> yeah. So it's treated as though there was footage of him doing anything previously. <laughs> yeah. Number one, number two, who knows what. Yeah. And but the, he was like washing his face at first because he was kind of free. He's, maybe he's maybe something out. went terribly wrong. That's how scared he is. <laughs> I don't know. He can't even go to the bathroom correctly. <laughs> I don't know. But the, ma the, the mask was behind him. He sees it in the mirror. He turns around and the mask is gone. Uh, so Bray Wyatt playing mind games with him, or more like the Wyatt family playing mind games Or it could have been him. the Divas. That's why they didn't walk into the bathroom just with a sheet mask on. <laughs> could have been. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That could have been Tamina. It could have been. Mm -hmm. I don't know why she would get in John Cena's head, but you never know. Why not? Maybe she wants to be a Wyatt. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but it was uh, Cena versus Harper on Raw in a great match. Uh, Harper is just, you know, 
playing that character really well, like definitely showing a lot of personality more. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for a big guy, he, the moves he hits are just crazy. He did a Hurricane Rana after John Cena <laughs> yeah. did a Hurricane Rana. Like, like he's got to be over 300 pounds, right? I, I don't know. I'm not good with yeah. weight. I'm not, but I would say he's got to be over 300 He's pounds. in the high 200s. Yeah. In mm-hmm. the minimum, because he is a very tall guy. We saw him when we were there yeah. at Raw. Mm-hmm. He's very tall, mm-hmm. and he is a really big guy. I mean, he makes Cena look kind of small. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Cena's a big dude. And um, I, I like the match. I like that um, you know Harper didn't lose the match. They kind of they interfered, and then they like tied Cena up on the ropes. Mm-hmm. When there was like they, all the lights went off, you know, he had the mask on when they came back on. Uh, and then I liked in the when we were watching it, like they couldn't cut out the "This is awesome" chance in the background because right. Bray was screaming, "Follow the buzzards!" Follow the awesome <laughs> yeah, buzzards! Yeah, those are some awesome buzzards. Uh, and then they did the the package video with the Eminem song in the background. Mm-hmm. A little less of the song this week, which I liked more story, more uh, of them, you know, telling the story and Bray saying, you know, Cena's fear is Bray's power, and that we can see you, Cena. Um. And, you know, setting up this match for Mania, I think it's going to be a really awesome match. I'm excited for this match. I am, too, because there's, with Cena, his WrestleMania history is, at 19, he got bumped to the Sunday Night Heat show. Mm. That was his first WrestleMania, Uh but he didn't make it to the show. 20, he was in the United States Championship match Mm -hmm. against Big Show. Yep. And then 21 on through uh, 29, Mm. he was in a world title match. Wow. I didn't even realize that there was that long it's, that that year he's oh he was always in a title yeah match. from then on he's always well, in except a title for the match. rock the first match with the rock oh right right but, but that's but i mean they may have ended the show yeah, exactly so mm-hmm. he's been in the title match in all those matches so this is now the not main event a featured attraction match mm-hmm. with this storyline built in and it's sort of a you know the next guy coming up Bray yeah. wyatt to establish to really establish this mm-hmm. character going up against john cena i think that's huge yeah definitely I'm really excited for this match mm-hmm. I really, I really want Bray to win this match. Like, I, I think he, he needs... Cena does not need another win at WrestleMania. Everyone, as, as much as I... I really... I know I hate on John Cena, but when he needs to step it up, he's a good... Like, I more, like, just don't like the whole him jokey... Like, I want him to be serious. I think he's been a lot more serious now in this feud mm-hmm. than, like, that first week and he was, like, you know, doing the Margaritaville song and stuff. Like, I feel like right. that was, like... They're, they're building up this Bray Wyatt to be this, like, maniacal, crazy character. And then he's going out there going, oh, Margaritaville. Like, I didn't, it was just like, you're undermining everything they've been doing for the last couple months was, by making fun of this guy. And he's admitting fear now. Though. Yeah, exactly. They definitely turned it around, mm-hmm. I think. Um, but I just think for Bray to continue his, you know, his career and just, you know, rising up in the ranks, he needs to beat Cena. I think even still, even if he doesn't necessarily beat him, that a way of having Bray still come out strong in the end, that yeah. even if Bray loses on purpose, mm-hmm. like the win-loss doesn't matter to him, mm-hmm. but as long as Cena's beaten down or, yeah. you know, he removes uh, the, the bands from his arms and, like, mm-hmm. strips him of his dignity or mm-hmm. whatever it can be, that, that Bray still stands tall at the end of it. So you yeah. walk away thinking, no matter what, that you mm-hmm. still think Bray won. Yeah. Yeah, that does work, too. But, yeah, I... I I agree with you, and I think he. I think it would just be good for him to get the win because John Cena has been saying, you know, the future goes through me. Mm-hmm. So he, Bray Wyatt is the future. So they need, and John Cena's, you know, it's WrestleMania 30. He was at WrestleMania 19 and 20, and since then, so mm-hmm. I feel like they need to start turning that tide of getting these fu- these guys, you know, for the next 10, 15 years to really building them up, and not having them lose to these guys. These, you know veteran guys all the time they just need to get some wins and just more for the people to be more to be more credible i guess mm-hmm. um but yeah i'm excited that, for that match. that's gonna be a hell of a wrestlemania entrance for bray that is yeah <laughs> i'm i'm I, that's probably gonna be, well him and undertaker probably have the best entrances mm-hmm. i think well cena always has something very unusual yeah so i don't know what mm-hmm. it's gonna be this year i guess you'll have to hear next week for our predictions exactly mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I don't know. We won't have a title to fight for, so I don't know. Scooby gets on the case. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll show up by next week. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and then we get a Bad News Barrett segment. 
Uh, and he says, it's clear that John Cena is freaked out by the Wyatts. And all of you get freaked out every time you look in the mirror. Uh, he says, I wish every second of every day all of you should be wearing a mask just like John Cena was. <laughs> so your friends and family uh, would not have to be confronted with the reality of your hideous faces. Ha, 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 He doesn't like, he just keeps laughing at the end. He's, yeah, he He's did. just becoming like this weird like. He laughed through his graphic. Movie, yeah, movie villain. <laughs> The only thing that was missing was just calling them mass holes. <laughs> yeah. like that, was, that was the one extra thing that, was, that I, I would have wanted. But mm. I, lo I love Bad News Barrett. But yeah. the bad news, I think, unfortunately, is like he's not going to be at WrestleMania. Or is he, I think he's going to be. I think they're going to do probably one segment like this. I hope so. I think it, it would make sense. Like what? Why is he not in the Battle Royale? Wouldn't he say, like, I want to be in the battle? He's got a huge podium. I'm declaring myself to be in the battle royal. He should. Who's going to tell him no when he's up on the podium there? No one can. He's too high up. Yeah. Uh, so I think that we'll probably have some kind of Bad News Barrett segment at Mania. That'd be great. Uh, and then we saw, you know, um, Razor Ramon, Scott Hall. Is, well, no. Razor Ramon, not Scott Hall, is yeah. getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. That's weird. I know, but I don't know. I, I saw things where maybe they want to do NWO later as a group, but it's it, he's he's so much bigger than Razor Ramon now. Mm, he, the exactly. man Scott Hall has accomplished so much more in his career. Yeah, that I think I think it should be Scott Hall going. I down. think it should be too. I just I think it's just them being like, oh well, you were Razor Ramon here. You weren't. Well, he was Scott Hall when he came back. Yeah, it's it's gonna be weird that again when it happens with Nash that you go so. Diesel's getting inducted yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Like it's Kevin Nash. We we uh -huh. all know now it's Kevin Nash. Yeah, like that character <laughs> is bigger than what Diesel or Razor Ramon were. Mm -hmm. Those were neat little flashes in the pan, and yeah. we all dug it when it happened. Mm -hmm. But there's so much bigger than that now. Yeah, and Scott Hall is one of my favorite wrestlers. Like he's like him, Shawn Michaels ladder match WrestleMania 10. Like that was the match that got me like hooked mm -hmm. into wrestling. So I was always like a huge fan of his, even when he went to. You know, it was in the NWO, all that other kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really excited that he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and then we get to the main event of main event. Uh, Big E versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Ziggler changed his outfit for the night after his first match. Comes out in new trunks. <laughs> he yeah. only had like 20 minutes. <laughs> Not yeah, even that. Because so oh, we were watching all the other stuff. I don't know if they were showing that in the crowd. but you know. I, Well, I guess they have to do it real time. Since oh, yeah. Oh, and they're, oh, yeah, they're live on the network. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they do. All right, so he did have some time. Okay. Uh, Big E starts the match uh, trying to slow the pace down. Gets a headlock on Ziggler. Uh, Ziggler hits a big drop kick. Uh, then Big E with a huge clothesline. Ziggler kind of goes out, out of the ring to retreat. Just kind of, you know, compose himself. Uh, Ziggler goes for a zigzag, uh, but misses. And Big E hits another huge clothesline on him. Like, that one was just, like, taking his head off. Uh, B gets up, he pulls the straps down, goes for the big ending, Ziggler gets out of it, hits the Famouser, only for two, uh, Ziggler then goes for a super kick, but misses, and Big E tosses him in the air, like, seven feet in the air. Yeah. <laughs> uh, With ease. Yes. Uh, Ziggler lands on the mat, jumps back up, and Big E just picks him up like a rag doll, throws him over his shoulder, and just hits the big ending. And Big E wins, uh, retaining the Intercontinental title. Yeah, kind of a short went, match. It went fast. Yeah. I mean, for Ziggler, a guy who's so fast as is anyway, mm -hmm. and then Big E is is also just as quick, which yeah. is it's very frightening. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, but yes, this this did go rather quickly. But um, And I was saying in the screening room that I think this is the first time that we've seen them go one-on-one -on -one against each other because after the whole... They used to mm. be a part of the group together with him and AJ that we didn't really ever get that match that uh, was the blow-off match between them. Yeah. Of the separation. So mm. this was... Yeah, because we got the, the... first one. It was... Because at, at SummerSlam, it was uh, Ziggler and Caitlyn versus AJ and Big E. Right. But they never had that singles match of, you know... Yeah. Oh, we don't... I don't like you now. Because I feel like it was more... It was the Ziggler, AJ, and Ka a Caitlyn, AJ... You know, feud going into that, and Big E and Ziggler were kind of just there for, you know, they needed tag team partners, so yeah, it kind of just worked out that way. Yeah. Uh, but what'd you give a rating? I thought it was good. Um, I gave it a two chalk covered pectorals. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I gave it a three point five. I wish it would have went a little longer, 
Uh, especially because that first match was, you know, a good 10, 12 minutes, something like that. It was that. a two-segmenter. Yeah. So I think, uh, you know, I wish the main event would have been a little longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish I would have liked to have seen, you know, maybe some more false finishes of Ziggler, you know, maybe hitting the zigzag, but not being able to, you know, get the cover or something like that. But yeah, I mean, it is ma- it is a main main event match, mm-hmm. so they can't go all out. You know, and it, I mean, Ziggler did have a lengthy match already, so yeah. I mean, that made it easier for Big E. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Big E was, was fresh. Yeah. yeah, he was just sitting there. He didn't have not to change even on outfits. Commentary. No, he didn't have to. Yeah, no. the one outfit, he's good. <laughs> he was good for the night. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was overall a really good main event, solid main event. Mm-hmm. I think we're just getting, you know, we have one more main event for WrestleMania. Yeah, the go-home main event. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I will be shocked to see how main event is two weeks from now. Who do, I, you, who do you think we get on the next main event? Like, who's... Next week? Because we've got an Undertaker. Yeah. We've got an Intercontinental Championship. We've gotten Divas. Who, they got to put some other big name on this, right? I, Another. Feature. I mean, I would think. I mean, we had Daniel Bryan a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. leading up to it, right? So I, th- I mean, I think maybe a Bray Cena I would, to push that, or I agree, or maybe an Orton. Okay, I would think one of those. I think one of those matches because I know the main event of Raw for next week is uh, Orton versus Batista. That's the main event of Raw. Okay, so that's like you know that was the main event for <laughs> WrestleMania. Now it's the main event for Raw. My guess is we either get Cena or Batista on the main mm. event next week. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'd I'll be, be fine with that. Be super cool. Uh, and then they did announce that it was, uh, it's now f- maybe a fatal four way for the tag team championships. Right. Uh, Los Matadores, <laughs> uh, Rybaxel, Real Americans, and Usos. I really hope it's elimination. That'd and it comes great. down to Usos and Real Americans. I think that would be really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I guess we'll see. They didn't really say, they just kind of. Yeah, announce just, that match. They're just kind of doing that now. They're just yeah. saying, like, matches are happening. Mm-hmm. Stipulations are involved. We're not saying what. Yeah. Well, at least on the... Because on SmackDown, when they all attacked the Shield, Kane gave Rybaxel and Real Americans, like, title matches. Right. And then I guess because on Raw, Los Matadores beat Rybaxel in, like, two seconds. Because the Shield kind of came down and, you know, distracted them. They, I guess that's why they're putting in that match. See, I don't know if you're looking at the WWE app yeah, uh-huh. during Raw. What yeah. happened was Kane was in the bathroom in the stall, and then El Torito <laughs> popped in underneath uh-huh. underneath the stall, and then Kane got totally freaked out and like, fine, fine, you're in the tag match too. <laughs> I got to get that app. You got to get that app. <laughs> that may or not be tr- that may not be true. <laughs> it may or I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. But so that wraps us up. <laughs> I was going to ask you, are you like, what are you most excited for about Mania? Just being there. Yeah. It's it's all going to be gravy. <laughs> it's all gravy. Yeah, I can wait. 11 days. And 11 we'll days. So, uh, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter, at Curtain Jerks. And uh, two things to plug this week. Uh, they can listen to my comedy wrestling podcast, Curtain Jerks, having our three-year jerk anniversary this week. Nice. Uh, we just recorded it, so I'm very excited about that. And then also, I guessed it on a Wrestling Compadre Slamcast nice. on the Nerdist Network. And it has special guests, Nigel McGinnis. Booker T and Randy Orton. Awesome. Yeah. So and Johnny and Dale from the Raw show are on that too. Yeah, they're on so. that too. So it's a must listen. Yes, definitely. World's listen colliding. Yeah. <laughs> uh is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I thought they had more. I thought you were gonna plug in away. Oh, and uh the chat roll does know what the uh Titan Tron videos are. Okay, good. Good for them. Good, good, Thank good. you guys. And you guys can uh find me on Twitter at Tom the Com. Uh and you can find me right after this show for the Tomorrow People and Tuesday for Supernatural. So we will see you guys next week for the Go Home Show main event. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After Shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.